Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Badger Wild's back, and guess what? We're in seven days to die. Once again, your everyday happy old lucky boy is just trying to survive his little heart out. So today is going to be an interesting little day. As you can see, I've got an iron pickaxe ready to go. I've got an iron axe and I have an iron shovel and what I would like to do today is I was thinking about just going out hitting a couple of these iron boulders and maybe getting myself a little bit more iron and stone so we're probably going to do that early this morning put that on the uh, well I'll put that on the fire and let that smelt and then we're going to try and go back to the hellish biome See if we can't find ourselves a nice little uh, a couple more trees to cut down. See if we can cut a couple more trees down. See if we can't make some law, some nice little spikes or whatnot surround this area because we have only two more days left. Well, three actually. We have three days left before we get taken over. So. I guess I'm going to do a little bit of grinding here real quick and grind up some rock real fast. Funny thing is I don't see any zombies. Oh, oh, I'm, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. We have a zombie. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, shoot. What is that thing? All right, we killed her instantly. What happened? Yes, she did. Dang it. Sorry, Critton. Then Diesel is here. You down, Benny boy. Tell me he's done. All right, that one's done. Let's see if I can't just bring you from here. And brain time. Better be down, sucker. Bring my axe over here just in case. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, legendary shirt. Awesome. Yeah, the uh, screamer zombie over here. I did not realize that's what she was. It's not really tough. It just is worthless because it gives you sandwiches. Uh, but also, it has the ability to scream, and I guess it was just... I've heard they're attracted to heat. Of course, I've been doing a lot of heat lately with the forge running, so this is going to become... Well, this is going to become a problem I'm going to have to fix here pretty soon. So now we're going to head back to base, which really isn't that far away. All right, now we're going to head back inside. My biggest fear here, though... I was thinking she zombie might have put something inside of this base. I have had that happen before. Me playing, that thing will screech, and then there'll be a zombie right inside my perimeter, which gives me all kinds of heck. Which I prefer not to deal with right now. I really do. I, I don't want to have to deal with that. I've got the forged iron. I guess the next big thing I need to do is make up some more arrows because I'm running out of arrows fast. And then, since this is going to take a while anyway, we need to run and do some stuff. Because it's still morning. I mean, I could eventually make an iron door. I can make all kinds of goodies. But until then, I have to get um, some equipment. So we're going to try and head back into the hell biome yet again and see if we can't get our hands on some trees and I don't know maybe find another biome because as good as the desert's been to us I think we can get something better we're passing this place again was there is something in that area there's a safe in there I really would like to bust into sometime actually I want to bust into it now 
Okay. I kind of gave in here. Oh, a beverage cooler. And just that. Let's see what's in here. More glass jar. Ooh. Mother of crap. What is in here with me? I hear him, but I don't see him. I'm gonna hack into this thing as fast as we can. That's gonna take a while to bust open. Are there any barrels in here? I just got an idea. There's a bunch of these gas barrels out here. I just had a plan formulating my mind on how I can possibly open that stupid thing up. If I take enough of these gas barrels here, I might be able to blow it open. We did that before with an arrow and it worked really well. Let's see if we can blow this fragger open. Let's make sure I ain't got a... Holy frag. Well, they are. They're just standing right there. What do you know? This will be easy. Big guy first. Dang, these guys are tougher. Come on, Thunder Thighs. Ain't no way I'm missing them things. Oh, man. They must have updated since the last time I used that tactic. So, we're going to head back over this way. Hope to God we don't blow ourselves up. Because usually I don't have the best of luck with <laughs> explosives. <laughs> we'll put it like that. So what are we going to do? Alright, I picked up a bunch of these. Let's just set this down here. There goes one, two, three, four. There we go. There goes nothing. Man, that sounded like I made a big hole. Well, I was right. Oh, frick. I think I annihilated it. Or sent it flying with the two. Jeez. That might have been a bit too much. Ah, uh, I just... Ah, oh, man. I just super fracked that thing all up. Damn, damn it. Let's see if we can. Nope. We're getting nothing. Awesome. Can't believe it. I must have blowed that thing up good. That that ended well. I literally blew that thing all to heck. It did not help me at all. It actually just made life a little bit harder. I ended the bow. Mine's about broke. Ooh. This one's better. Much better. What was it I told you before? If you work on your bows and you work on your arrows first, your bows will naturally go up in levels. Which means any weapon that I build afterward here in the next few... Ooh, a base. That'd be a good chance to try out this nifty little bow that I built. Anyway, here's an idea. I think that dropped her in one shot. All right. We have a weapon. No more of this little dinky, ooh, you shot me, but I'm not going down because I'm, I'm just a little bit tougher than everybody else. Means. Oh, crap, it's 14. Man, I didn't get near the crap done I was hoping to get done. Mm. Well, if it wasn't for that epic fail back there, I would have probably walked away with a lot more crap. <sighs> oh, well. We have barbed wire now. That's a good thing. Oh, man. This is like right on the edge of the... 
destroyed by them. Jeez. Okay, we need all of this, so some things are getting... chucked. There we go. We are getting away from this area. Because I have, let's see, it is 1529. And if I know anything's about to happen, it'd be a good idea to get out of here. We'll fall that one tree on the way back. On Badger. Come on, Badger. You can do this. You're almost home. We gotta be getting close. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. We have survived. Made it back to base. And I'm tired as heck. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I got barbed wire. I got fencing stakes. I'm gonna mine a little bit more. And we're gonna push this all the way to the very end. Good. I was hoping I could get some over here. All right, that's it. So it's not a lot of spikes, but <clears throat> for day seven, we've got a large amount of spikes set up. Hopefully, I can bust up a few more cars. Uh, this is going to be cutting it close. Oh, shoot. All right, back to base, back to base, back to base. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. I've only got defenses on one side of the base. Gotta get inside immediately. Watch these dang spikes. Okay. <sighs> All right. And Badger said, let it be light. Okay. Okay, all right. Whoop. Our little forge is out of fuel. Hmm. Throw the rest of that on there. Good with a forge. Good, good. You work well with me. You helped me very well. Good. Okay. So, anyhow. Yeah, that's it, folks. We've pretty much done everything we can do today. Uh, you'll notice I got a bunch... I got a nice little Batman computer screen system going on here. But, with any luck, we'll have defenses all the way around this base and maybe a secondary wall out there to where I can... Holy crap. Oh, no. Oh, man. Dogs. Ah, cripes. What did the frick? Where did they all come from?